Hello friends, welcome to the new chapter called States of Matter. In this chapter, we are going to learn some interesting facts about the word matter. So in this module, we will learn introduction to states of matter. Let me start with the word matter. As we all know, matter is anything that occupies space and possesses some mass. For example, this chair and table or a glass of water or some balloon containing air. So if I concentrate on these, I come across with a new classification that is matter is going to get classified into three different types that is called solid, another one liquid and one more that is called gases. So along with these three, we are having some more states of matter like plasma, Bose-Einstein condensate, fermionic condensate, quark condensate and thought wave along with these three. So let me concentrate on these three types called solid, liquid and gases. If you look at these pictures, you can come across with uh, some interesting facts that the first uh, picture is tightly bound, nothing but solid. Second one, uh, slightly distributed, nothing but liquid. Last one is completely dispersed, nothing but gases. So by looking at this picture, I think I can make out some interesting uh, points with respect to this. Point number one, if I concentrate on shape for solid, it is perfect. If I concentrate on liquid, there is no perfect shape. If I concentrate on gas and similar to the liquid, there is no shape for gas also. If I concentrate volume, solid has got volume, liquid has got volume, but there is no volume for gases. Hagadre, intermolecular force of attraction, no the word il hai, nothing but this particular word is very much essential for these two particular parameters for shape and volume. So what is intermolecular force of attraction? It is the attraction between two atoms. If it is very much strong, it will be having a solid shape. If it is very, very less, then there is no shape and there is no volume. So if I concentrate on the intermolecular force of attraction, it is very much strong in case of solids and it is very weak in case of liquids and very weak in case of gases. So if I move on to the next point, nothing but packing efficiency. If I concentrate on packing, solids are having a closely packed structure. If I concentrate on liquid, it is loosely packed. If I concentrate on gases, it is very loosely packed. So if I concentrate on the next word called density, we know the word density. What is density? It is nothing but mass by volume. If I concentrate on packing of these particular things, it is closely packed, nothing but mass by volume is more in case of solids. So in case of liquid, it is slightly less in case of uh, gases it is very very less therefore density is very high in case of uh, solids and it is very least in case of uh, gases and it is intermediate to solids and gases uh, in uh, in case of uh, liquids so in the next point we are going to learn about the word called flowability so the word flowability means that it is the ability to flow which is maximum in case of uh, gases and less in case of uh, liquids least in case of solids if I concentrate on compressibility, it is nothing but ability to get compressed. It is very high in case of gases and less in case of uh, liquids, which is very least in case of solids. So there are two main parameters or conditions by which I think these particular states of matter are varying. Those two are temperature and pressure. If you concentrate on solid, I can interconvert this solid into liquid just by heating and I can interconvert this liquid into gas just by heating. So there is an interesting phenomena that I can convert ice into water, this water into steam just by heating. So temperature is the main criteria to convert solid into liquid, liquid into gas. Similarly, I can convert gas into liquid, liquid into solid by applying pressure. So these two are the very interesting conditions by which I can convert a solid into liquid, a liquid into gas. Now we'll concentrate on a new concept where pressure and temperature will play a vital role to convert gas into liquid. That means at high temperature and low pressure, gases will exist. At low temperature and high pressure, liquid will exist. 
therefore transformation of liquid to gases can be done by varying these two conditions so we have to concentrate on high temperature low pressure for gases low temperature and high pressure for liquids thank you